Now, if you guys have been with us for a while, you know that we have gone on dozens of road trips with our Tesla, but we've never made a video where we combine all of our secrets into one video. Over the years, you've seen us using all sorts of approaches to always find a charge regardless of the situation. Thank you for calling Tesla. Yeah, it looks like it's completely out. Like, I'm, I'm just seeing offline here. Today we're road tripping with our friend LaToya, who just bought her first EV, a new Model X, and we'll show her and you some of the best practices when driving into areas where public charging is either unreliable or unavailable. Luckily it has a really long cable. Does it not reach? Just shy. Uh... You know what has me most excited about getting our Model X? Cup holders. The Model 3 does not have enough cup holders. I mean, look at this. Lake and so used to us cleaning. She's down there cleaning the car. Are you cleaning? Yeah, I'm cleaning up. Clean up. For us, all EV road trips start here. Our charging bundle of extensions and adapters that pretty much work on almost any outlet and the website PlugShare.com. So this isn't sponsored by PlugShare, but it really does have the most extensive list of charging stations across the world. I like it because it shows you how recently a charging station was used, how reliable it was, and it even highlights RV parks that EV owners have successfully charged from. Of course, the easiest thing would be to just have an outlet waiting for you at your destination. Destination. So I always check sites like VRBO and I look for a washer and dryer. Now this dryer happens to be on the third floor and in the back of the house. So that's kind of where that charging bundle comes in clutch. Also on Airbnb, you can actually filter it and search for destination chargers if you have an EV. I'll link our charging bundle below, but our cables, which all fit comfortably in the small Model 3 front trunk, have over a 70-foot reach. These are designed for North American outlets and come with adapters for the NEMA 1030, 1430, and 630, the most common outlets that almost every home with a washer and dryer has access to. So it is about 11.30. We had hoped to leave at 10 a.m., but you know, the Toya is hard to pin down. So we're gonna give her a call and see where she's at. Oh, funny, we're doing the same thing. Say hi to our camera. Oh, where are you at? I'm charging. You're charging still, okay. How much time do you have left? Uh, how do I check that? Look in your car or look on the app. If you're fully charged, it's always best to begin driving shortly after reaching 100% to avoid long-term battery damage. We decided to hit the roads towards the mountains of North Carolina and meet up with LaToya at our first stop, a restaurant that offers free charging. We could definitely make it to our location without stopping to charge, but why not do both? And to do this, we use PlugShare where we can pull up the map and see all the different chargers around us. We are gonna walk around town right now. The kids are gonna get something sweet. And um, yeah, just continue to wait on LaToya. This looks really good, I know. <laughs> Once LaToya and family arrived, we continued up the mountain. An important factor to consider is the impact of elevation on your range. Your Tesla maps do take this into account automatically, but a good rule of thumb is that for every thousand feet of elevation gain, expect a 10 mile impact to range. We are on Scaly Mountain. We're about to enter tube down the hill. Big thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this video. So Raycon makes earbuds, headphones, and speakers, and I'm in love with their everyday earbuds. There are a lot of earbuds out there, but Raycon really hits this sweet spot when it comes to offering a premium quality earbud that's actually affordable too. So I started using their everyday earbuds last year, and since then I've pretty much told everyone I know about them. Everything I do from research, writing, and editing these videos, and even my workouts all depend on a comfortable set of earbuds. So they are priced just right and started about half the price of other premium brands. And they sound just as good. 
so you get eight hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life. And the optimized gel tips make them super comfortable. I love the awareness mode feature because I can listen to my podcast while still hearing what's going on around me. What's cool is that they don't stick out or fall out of your ears either. Like no matter how much you are running or jumping, they just don't budge. So by ordering Raycons, you're also supporting this channel. So click the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash kimjava to get 15% off your purchase. All right, let's get back to it. For dinner, once again using the PlugShare app, we dined at a popular restaurant in the mountains offering free public charging for customers. Okay, so because we're about to dine here, we get to charge for free? Exactly, so there are a lot of places like that that they'll kind of like get you to eat there because they'll have free charging. And that's also a lot of reasons why I like to come back to this restaurant again because I know we can charge if we need it. Right. A lot more businesses should do this. Somehow we hit the charging jackpot lottery. We have both cars charging while we eat our dinner. Did not expect this to happen. So honestly, we don't even need to charge from our cabin tonight, which is a big relief because our charging situation there is a little sketch. Previous dirt road, there's no lights. I swear, it's like Blair Witch Project right now. The car's navigation has told us to go this way because it's faster. It is not the same way that our directions told us to go. So, just hoping we get there and we get there in one piece. So we're getting all packed up to hike. It is kind of rainy and drizzly off and on, but we knew the weather was gonna be like this, so we are all suited up, ready to, ready go. to go. I'm excited. First time actually hiking. First time ever? First time. That's crazy. I know. That's crazy. I'm excited. The rain is probably not the best time to do it for the first time, but you know. It's an experience. It is. I need this. It'll be good. Floor is lava. Yes. Floor is mud. It's definitely kind of gloomy today, but the trees are doing a good job, kind of as our umbrella. It's really a crab. It's like, oh, it's like a crawfish. Is it live? Is it live? The other ones are fall too. So this is in fresh water, right? I can't drink. Ew! I am using the invisible pull. What? It's so cool. My socks are soaked. But it's lit! <laughs> Loving this! I'm not. Barely survived in the rain, in the fog. But we did it. We did it, you guys. We're done. Oh my gosh. It's morning, kids. First time hiking, and this is the weather you decided to bring me in. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're going to do it again. Uh, most definitely. We'll do it again when we'll, we'll do it again. I'll be there in spirit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm watching them over there with their falcon wings, their nice little umbrella. Well, I have to use the trunk of the Model 3. Another reason why the Model X is a better choice. We just got back from hiking and now we need to figure out how we're gonna charge the cars. Oh my gosh. So there's always this option. This is the 110 volt, but this is trickle charging. You only get about three miles per hour, so it's not ideal, but there is another option. So, ta-da! We have 70 feet of charging cables and adapters that we bring with us when we go on any kind of road trip, especially when we're renting a house and we don't know what the charging situation is gonna wow. be like. So this is a charging bundle that we bought. We can put the link in the description if you guys are interested. When you're charging from a dryer, there's like the old school dryers before 2000 and then there's new dryers. And the difference is some have three prong and some have four prong. You should ask the owner before you do something like that. But it's nice to know if there's a dryer and you're in a pinch and there's not a place to charge your car in town, you can always charge from the dryer. And you actually pick up between like 20 and 25 miles per hour oh, wow. from a dryer. So it's a lot better than the, the three to four yeah. miles per hour. Gotta be careful when you're doing it. So we have four prongs, it's a newer dryer. 
This is a NEMA 1430. Okay. Don't really need to know that. You really just need to know three or four. Four. That's all I need to know. Yeah. So the plan is to plug this in and then we're just going to keep adding extension cords until we can reach the car. Do I need to get my gas car back? <laughs> hey, take this thing. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. Okay. So the trick is you obviously don't want to touch this part while you put it in. Okay. Ah! Oh my god, you freaked me out! Alright, so now we're gonna string this down the stairs. This is another 1450 that right. is basically gonna turn into our Tesla charger. Okay. We just switched out the little 110 volt piece and we put in the NEMA 1450 piece so that we can connect it and turn this into our Tesla charger over here. So this is all waterproof, which is also really nice. We're gonna keep this part under the deck where it's dry. Get that in and now you can plug in your car. I will do the honors and plug in my car. That was a lot. I'm not going to front, but that's great to know especially when you're in the middle of nowhere with an electric car and you can't depend on you know these little towns yes. to get that charging exactly so yeah that's something everybody needs to have if they have this kind of car flamethrower <laughs> not a flamethrower i need to show these kids how to roast perfect marshmallow because they keep burning them. Oh, no. Did it hurt you? Oh, no. no. oh the day. All right, so we are getting all packed up to head out. I hope you guys learned something about road tripping with your Tesla. And definitely make sure you go check out Latoya's channel. We'll link it below. And thank you guys for coming on the ride with us. Of course, we happen to see a Rivian R1T right here. Silver and the roof is intact, I checked. I want you to push this button 10 times and okay. see what happens. Count to 10. One. No, this one right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Liam, now you do it 10 times fast. Show him how you One, do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not working. Let it's me not. try. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Yeah, mommy knows best. I think. Oh wow, what does that mean? It's just like a fun little Easter egg. So the car is filled with all kinds of little Easter eggs, which are hidden tricks, and this is one of them. That's so cool. Because so. the other day I learned blow me harder. <laughs> you know. 